Hey everyone, I'm Derek. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to change the, uh, one of the tires on my garden tractor here, my old Cub Cadet. I am feeling pretty under the weather and uh, it's pretty cold outside, so you're going to have to forgive me for not talking very loud and uh, just being a little less enthusiastic than maybe I normally am. I already did one side, now I'm doing the other side. I did have some tires that I bought for another tractor that I fixed and sold that I didn't end up putting on. I'm planning on keeping this tractor around. Uh, it needs new tires, so I'm gonna put the new tires on it and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So obviously one of the first things you're gonna wanna do is take the wheel off your tractor. This shop keeps getting smaller and smaller. I need a lot more room. I'm ready for a bigger shop. Anyway, the next thing you're gonna need to do is take the air out of your tire. You'll need a valve stem removal tool. I picked this up at Napa. I'm sure you can get them on Amazon or maybe even at Walmart. You might be able to see it, but uh, it's pretty dry rotted on the sidewall here. And there are some pretty big cracks in the top of it too. So now that the air is out of it, you're gonna need to break the bead on the tire. Now, my method is gonna be different than most people's uh, because I have this shot press and I made this rinky dink little shot press adapter for breaking beads that doesn't work really that well but it does work uh, the method that you can use for this on your own is that that works for a lot of people is getting like a two by four and putting the board right up against the rim here and then driving another vehicle on top of it like a pickup truck and uh, that'll help you break the beads probably a little faster but this is a little more elegant i guess Without actually having tire equipment, like the correct equipment, this whole process is kind of a pain in the butt. Down the road, when I get a shop, uh, another shop someday, a bigger shop, I definitely want to try to get some tire equipment. Save my money, save myself some money over a lifetime. bead just broke on the top. The one I did yesterday, the bottom bead, was the one that took me forever. Huge pain in the neck. It's looking like this one's going to be the same way. Well, naturally, the bottle jack broke in the middle of using this, so uh, we're going to go do it the old-fashioned way with the truck. One of the issues with that method is that you run the risk of denting and damaging your rim, which I don't believe I did. <clears throat> so next you're just going to want to work on removing the tire. I actually have these tire spoons. Uh, they're not required. I've been able to do this with big screwdrivers, but they do make it a lot easier, especially when you're doing it all by hand without even like that manual tire changer that Harbor Freight sells. If you've got the space for it, or if you've got a way to use one, I would definitely recommend getting one of those. It is a pain in the neck, but you just have to work at it, try different things until you get it. I scratched the rim all up, but I kind of expected that. I needed a new paint job anyway. Now, if you get that tire off and you find a lot of rust on the inside of the wheel, where the tire would, it would be inside the tire, I guess it's kind of the outside of the rim. You get the point, this area 
Uh, that was the case on the other wheel. There was a lot of a lot of rust, and I went and wire brushed it all off. It looks like this has had some pitting rust in it, and it was painted over. So this isn't required, I suppose, but I would do it, especially because they're so cheap. Take a pair of uh, snips, dikes, whatever your version of the name of the tool is, and cut off this old valve stem pull it through, pull it off, and put on a new one. I bought a kit of these for like 10 or 20 bucks. They all seem like decent quality off of Amazon. I've got all the valve stems I'll probably need for, I don't know about the rest of my life, for quite a, but for quite a few years. So uh, they're pretty dang cheap and they're nice to have around because a lot of the reason, or a lot of the time, when your tire leaks air, it's because of these and you can just change these out without having to remove the whole tire and everything and put in a new valve stem and they'll hold air again. So this isn't proper or anything like that, um, but it's just what I have sitting around. I need a little lube and I'd rather not use soap and water or create a soap and water solution just for this. I'm just taking a little bit of used motor oil to give me the uh, lubrication to slide this up into the, into the rim. They do make a tool that I'd like to buy that threads on to the, to the valve stem here, but you can get away with just using pliers. As long as you're careful but you just pop that up in there and make sure it's seated all the way around and should last you for a number of years now with the new tire of course soapy water solution and again i'm doing something that uh, I don't know there's probably people out there wouldn't who would even uh, advise against it I'm just using it as a little bit of lubricant I'm just gonna wipe it right here on the bead of the tire to try and make this as easy as possible on me to get it in here but with that lube a lot of the times you can just shove the tire on I was able to do it this morning with the other tire. There we go. We're getting there. It's hard work, but uh, you can wrestle it on there if you keep trying and uh, get a lot of effort, put a lot of effort into it. It can be done. Now, when setting the bead, there are a couple different ways to do this. Sometimes the tire will just fit up where it's supposed to nicely and you can just put the air chuck on and fill it up with air and it'll set on its own, nothing extra. Uh, more often than that, not that is not going to be the case. And so the other at home method that I've done before that uh, I guess I won't recommend just so that nobody gets mad at me if they do it and blow themselves up or something, but uh, you put starting fluid, you spray starting fluid in there and immediately stick a lighter to it and it causes an explosion, which causes it to the bead to set. Uh, another way is just to put a ratchet strap around it and ratchet strap it down and then fill it up with air. Sometimes that works. Or the third option 
if you want to spend the money, which like I said, I, I want to get all the tire equipment I really need to do this kind of stuff for the rest of my life, you can get a tire bead setter tool like this, which I'll demonstrate right now. Sounds like my valve stem wasn't in correctly, or at least all the way. Now it's closed off. So you're gonna wanna get some air on it after you explode it to set the bead to where it actually fits up against where it's supposed to go. And then you'll want to look at the pressure rating for this tire, it's 14 PSI, and I know I'm above that, so you'll wanna let some out. Well, I need to let some out, or you need to fill yours up, depending. I'm gonna put mine at about 10 PSI. So now, we have a good quality new tire on. And the only thing left to do will be to mount the wheel. Now my Cub Cadet has a new pair of shoes. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you clicking on my video today. Hopefully, at least you found this video entertaining, if not informational or educational or helpful or whatever. Um, I appreciate you watching. I hope that uh, you have a good rest of your day or evening or whatever it is. And hopefully you'll go click thumbs up for me. I'd really appreciate that. It helps my channel out. And go click subscribe if you haven't already.